Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Danny James and today I have another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial and what I'm going to be going through is a paper rip transition. I've seen it in a couple of music videos and I'm sure there are many tutorials out there but I found this inspiration from a video by a director by the name Bopa. You can check out his handle on Instagram bopa.co and here's a preview of the effect how it looks like. Yeah, that's it. I'll I'll play it a little bit slow so that you can follow along. So it's a really cool paper drip transition that you can always use in your next project. And here's an example I did it and we're going to be reconstructing it again from scratch. So I'll delete everything on my timeline, meaning that I have two clips. Both of them are performance clips. The first thing you want to do is identify a point where you want to start making the transition. In this point, I'll hit M. I already have the marker on, on my sequence and you want to export a frame. This is more like taking a screenshot. I'll export the frame. Make sure it's a PNG. You can choose wherever it will save. You can hit browse to make your options and choose the name for the screenshot and I'll click OK. Having done that, we are going to find our screenshot where we left it, which is on our desktop in my case. And the next thing you want to do, you want to open a Photoshop file. So on your Photoshop, just create a new file. Make sure it's a 1920 by 1080 p because that's the same measurements that I'm using in my sequence timeline. So let's go back to Photoshop. It should be right under film and video, 1920 by 1080 and just create. The next thing you want to do, go to your desktop or where you've saved your screenshot, drag and drop that image onto it. Just hit the enter to accept the transformation. The other alternative would be right clicking on the same picture and open with Photoshop. By default, it will open with the same settings, which is a 1920 by 1080p video. The next thing you want to do, you want to make a duplicate of this. You can hit Ctrl and J on your keyboard. If you're using a Mac, use Command and J and we'll hide this layer just for backup purposes. You want to go to Filter and let's add a noise. For the look we're going for, we want it to look a little bit ashy and I'll get a noise of around 12 to 14. Whichever suits you, you can use it. And right here in our adjustment layers you can add a hue and saturation and let's go for whatever vibe we are looking for i'm already content with this one you can go for a pinkish look a blue or anything for now we can work outside the box let's go for this yellow look and let's play with the saturation that's all right the next thing you want to do you want to create a new layer on the bottom right area of the photoshop create a new layer it should be a blank layer and let's hit B on your keyboard to bring up the brush tools. You can alternatively find it on your toolbars right here. Let's choose a brush to use. I'll go for a normal brush, which you can find. And I'll go for this Kylie Ultimate Charcoal Pencil. Make sure the flow is 100. Now let's try to make a perfect line or cut through this image. Okay, now that's a little bit bigger so I'll make something smaller something like that I've tried to be as free as possible with my hand while trying to make that and now we have the basic structure of what we are trying to make I'll try to click hold shift click on every layer that you've done an effect with and for the one which I've added a noise a hue and saturation adjustment and the new layer I've clicked on both of them, I'll right click and merge these layers. Also remember to always name your layers, so I'll name this main composition. Hit Ctrl J to make a duplicate and let's hide this one below. Go for a lasso tool, you want to make a selection, you want to make one half of this picture and I'll take the lasso tool. All you have to do is try to go within the boundaries. Just go within the boundaries and highlight one half of the picture. Okay, since it's there, I'll make sure to also have clicked on the layer that you're trying to work on and let's hit delete. So this is what we have right now. 
let me just disable everything we have one half of this picture with a white trail on it and you want to have the same thing for the other for the rest of the picture so the best thing to do is having click on this picture on the layers hold control on your keyboard and click on the layer above the next thing you want to hit delete on your keyboard what that happens is that it deletes the other half of the picture that wasn't highlighted by the lasso tool so we can look at these two independently and i believe we have something to work with now that we've done that the first thing we want we want to export three frames for this the first frame will have everything the second frame will have half of this and the third frame should have the other half so let's do that quickly file export and i can export everything as png just to be safe for this one i don't really care if there is transparency or not but i'll try to disable it i'll name it layer one and then let's go back and export in the independent picture frames go to file export export as remember not to export as a jpg as it will not have any transparency at all make sure transparency is enabled and let's hit export we can name this layer a or layer one i'll name it something that i can remember go back to photoshop disable that enable the other half go again to file export export as and we have the two layers I'll name it layer something different and name it 22 and now we are done with doing half of this task you can minimize in case you need to come back for any changes it should be available I'll drag the three layers that you just exported and bring it into my project window also remember that we hit, we hit M on our keyboard and we had a marker right here to remind us where we took a screenshot from so I'll pick the first one which had everything so the video will play like this and then get into a picture okay i hope you're following through and the next thing you want to do as soon as it hits a few frames let's hold shift and right arrow key maybe twice to go 10 frames we can bring the first layer which is a half of it but whenever it starts we have to delete the rest of the background which was located here now we have this first half of the png and this is why we also brought a png file it's so that we could have transparency all through and you can see the video beneath i'll drag the second half of this picture right above now we have two pictures and it looks like we've done nothing all we have to do is set a few keyframes and it should all be good so let's go to our first layer which is the lower layer let's disable the first one and you can see what we are doing so we'll try to emulate a paper rip like someone is actually cutting paper and what we're going to do is just go to your effect controls add a keyframe for position and rotation but before we do any of that click on your anchor point so that it shows you where the anchor point for this clip is so whenever i try to make a rotation it does it respective to this position but you don't want that we want it to be somewhere lower here and if we do a rotation this is what it looks like it goes like that so that's basically what we're trying to do now that we have the anchor point set and the position keyframes enabled We'll go five frames ahead. I'll hold shift and the right arrow key once and I'll rotate it to the left quite a bit like that. And I'll also try to change the position so that it doesn't look so artificial. I'll drag it to the left. Again, I'll hold shift, go five frames later on, adjust the rotation once again, take it a little bit lower and change the position, especially for the Y axis. We need it to look natural so that it looks like a paper which is falling again five frames and we can do away with the picture completely from away from the frame now let's look at this animation it goes it needs it goes away very normal so we are trying to do the same one for the 
other half of this picture make sure to click on the layer change the anchor point so that it's somewhere right beneath and let's add a keyframe for rotation and position again go five frames later on and as you see the other half i was already teared let's try to go somewhere like there 16 17 degrees and you can alter the position again go five frames hold shift right arrow key rotate it further and change the position five frames once again have everything disappear okay and right almost where our transition happens let's make a cut where we've done the last keyframe we can add a cross dissolve so that it occurs naturally now let's preview this video It kind of goes fast, but it's what sells the effect. I hope you've learned something from this video. If you've enjoyed the content, make sure to hit subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And cheers.